In our last lesson, we talked about soap and how it helps to get rid of germs on your hands. For example, with the coronavirus, the amphiphiles in soap help to break apart the outer lipid bilayer of coronaviruses, and then forms bubbles around the various virus parts. When you then apply water. You can wash everything away. That is how soap works, more or less like a crowbar to pry open the virus membranes. Do you remember all of this? Hopefully you do. Hey, hey, hey! Are you paying attention? Quiz time! <laughs> Here's one question: A single drop of soap contains many blah blah blah. Please fill in the blank with one of the options. Option number one, cells. Option number two, coronavirus. Option number three, amphiphiles. Option number four, alcohol. A single drop of soap contains many what? Times up. The answer is option number three. A single drop of soap contains many amphiphiles. So we can think of soap as working something like a crowbar. However, hand sanitizers work less like a crowbar and more like an earthquake. Uh oh! Another short quiz. Which Best describes the way hand sanitizers work. Option number one: amphiphiles in hand sanitizer break apart viruses. Option number two: less like a crowbar and more like an earthquake. Option number three: less like an earthquake and more like a crowbar. And finally, option number four: water washes away the amphiphile bubbles, which best describes the way hand sanitizers work. Please pause the video and continue when you think you have the answer. Sorry, time's up. The answer is option number two. Hand sanitizer works less like a crowbar and more like an earthquake. If you surround a coronavirus with water, the hydrophobic effect gives the bonds within the membrane their strength. That same effect also holds the big proteins that form coronavirus's spikes in place, and in the shape that gives them the ability. To infect your cells, if you dry the virus in air, it keeps its stability. But now, surround it with a high concentration of alcohol, and pretty much every hand sanitizer has a very high concentration of alcohol. For example, ethanol or isopropanol. Are found in most hand sanitizers. This makes the hydrophobic effect poof disappear and gives the molecules room to move around. The overall effect is something like removing all of the nails and all of the mortar from a house and then striking it with a powerful earthquake. The cell's membrane collapses, and those spike proteins crumble. In either method, the actual process of destroying the virus happens in a really, really short time. For example, just a second or two. However, doctors recommend at least 20 seconds of hand washing. Because 
Remember, your hands are not smooth, and they have a very complicated or intricate landscape. Soap and sanitizer need to get everywhere, including your palms, fingertips, the outside of your hands, and between your fingers, to protect you properly. And with respect to a coronavirus outbreak, doctors recommend washing your hands with soap and water whenever possible. Even though both approaches are similarly effective at killing the virus, soap and water has two benefits. First, it washes away any dirt. Which could otherwise hide virus particles. However, even more importantly, it's simply easier to fully cover your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds. Of course, hand sanitizer is more convenient when you are outside, walking around, and so on. If you are on the go. It is definitely more convenient to use hand sanitizer. If you do not have access to a sink and water, use the sanitizer as thoroughly as possible, and rub your hands together until they are dry. Unfortunately, there are many people in the world, billions of people, who don't have access to clean drinking water. This is a huge problem at any time. However, it's an even bigger problem during an outbreak. Researchers and aid groups are working to provide solutions for such people and these communities. One example is a device that uses salt, water, and a car battery. To make chlorinated water that can kill harmful pathogens and is safe for hand washing. So, whenever possible, soap and water are recommended for a coronavirus. But does that mean it's best for every viral outbreak? Nope, not necessarily. Many common colds are caused by rhinoviruses that have a geometric protein structure called a capsid, instead of a lipid membrane. The capsid doesn't have as many weak points where soap amphiphiles can pry it apart, so it takes longer for soap. To be effective, however, some of its surface proteins are still vulnerable to the destabilizing effect of hand sanitizer. In this and similar cases, hand sanitizer might be more effective, especially if you then wash your hands to remove. Some of the leftover or residual particles. The best way to know which to use for any given outbreak is to do what's best for all things illness-related. Follow the advice of accredited medical professionals, and let's take a moment to appreciate all of the doctors. The nurses and other medical workers who keep us safe and work very hard while putting their own lives and their own families in potential danger, I think they are real heroes, and we should all be very grateful that they are a part of our society. Together, we can fight the virus. Come on. Okay. Well, good job. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for listening to the video today. I hope you learned something. I hope it was useful. And take care. See you next time. Goodbye.